How often do you masturbate? I'm not going to answer that. How often do you masturbate? Slim to none. Okay, what is the percentage rate of slim then? Zero. How often do you masturbate? <laughs> How often do you masturbate? Uh, what? How often do you have sex while surfing? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Not even one in a billion people become embarrassed and then refuse to answer when asked about something they have never done. If you doubt this, think of something you have never done. Perhaps anal. If asked about this thing that you have never done, you would never, and have never, embarrassingly refuse to answer. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that. How often do you have sex while surfing? <laughs> How often do you do a sex act that you have never done? Uh, what? Lastly, this woman clearly lied. Firstly, she used the expression slim to none. Slim to none. This only means none when you're being sarcastic. For example, if asked how often you have sex with elephants, slim to none never means none when being asked about common activities. Again, you would never say slim to none when asked about something you have never done. Nor would you nervously make an absurd retraction. Okay, what is the percentage rate of slim then? Zero. All kids fart, yet girls are far less honest about it. Similarly, men and women masturbate at approximately the same rate and frequency. Women are simply ashamed more for it, and consequently, are much less likely to admit it. Remember, it's almost impossible to mask the truth when surprised by an embarrassing question, so changing the question to something you know they've never done, or a sex act that you have never done, almost always reveals the truth. This technique is so effective, because people who have never engaged in an activity, are in a completely different frame of mind than those who have. For example, if you asked a billion people who have never cheated on a test, how often do you cheat on tests? Not even one of them would respond like this. I'm not gonna answer that.